Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. We are thankful for internet today. Yay. Hooray. Hooray. Who would have ever thought? But, but the good thing is when you unplug, you certainly get a good night's sleep. Honestly, it was the best sleep that we've had in a year, two years. Well, you know what it does is is it shows us where we are out of balance. So we're always looking for, you know, where where are we at? So we know we need to unplug more. Yeah, absolutely. It's hard to do in this world when everything is going crazy. Absolutely crazy. Uh, you see here a new wave of blast. Yes, a new wave of blast rock Beirut, Lebanon for the second day. Handheld radios explode, over 300 wounded. This is the latest from Zero Hedge. In fact, um, you know, if it's not people over panicking and overthinking things, it seems that you have uh, iPads, phones, notebook computers. Uh, I heard reports of cars. Now, was it something in the car that caused the car to explode? Uh, it's unclear. Right now, people are absolutely panicked panicked over here in Lebanon and there's a lot more to it uh, scooters car devices catching fire while moving um, kitchen appliances solar panels yes solar panels I heard multiple reports of that of course you know again things can escalate and when you have a panicky situation uh, the story can change and it can get exaggerated but at the same time Let's just say there definitely was another wave of these explosive events. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of crazy. Yeah, you see here at least 100 casualties at one location alone. Um, people are afraid, uh, and they're afraid to touch their electronics. And remember I was just saying about, um, I think it was a Mayan prophecy, or it could have been an Aztec. It was a Central American prophecy. My or Aztec, I'm not sure, which literally said that all of our technology in the latter days, the end of uh, the past age, the beginning of the new age here that we're in, as we've left the Kali Yuga and heading into the Bronze Age, would be used to uh, turn on us. And we are seeing that literally happening over here in Lebanon as their technology, people saying Western technology, has been used to uh, explode on them. This is part of something that's much, much bigger because as you see here, now you have troop movements being reported from northern Israel as a division of paratroopers is being transferred to Gaza, to the border with Lebanon. Uh, again, Lebanon is a very small country. And, uh, you know, it's interesting because, you know, the southern area of Lebanon's loaded with stories of giants. Oh, yes, and of giant cities that were deserted. When all the inhabitants seem to have died, just died without there being any destruction to any of their cities, how, that sounds to me more like uh, you know bio warfare or something along those lines. When you have entire cities depopulated and yet everything is intact, it almost sounds like some of the weapons we've heard uh, radio radiation radi radiological weapons. Uh, that kill people but leave everything intact for those that come after. So yeah, you know, many reports now saying the uh, Israeli army is mobilizing and getting ready up towards the northern front uh, to perhaps take over uh, a portion. Will it just be a portion of Lebanon? You know, it's um, I'm amazed right now. Of course, if you're cynical, you could say that the Polish psychic Christoph understood the concept um, that we're going to talk about as you see the Israeli defense minister we're on a verge of a new phase in the war and actually Netanyahu came on and said that they're ensuring that all the residents in the north are going to be safe how are they going to do that well I, I would say look for a replay of what you saw in Gaza this is what it feels like the term greater Israel this is the greater Israel map Ah, it's been very contentious and debated concept related to the state of Israel and its territorial borders. This is something that they want to manifest in our times right now. And this is go time. So this is what I feel 
uh, Christoph hit on. And you might say he's really well aware of this concept uh, because he saw that in 2028, he sees the world looking very, very different. He sees Israel occupying this pretty much exactly. That's how he describes it. And he also sees uh, that some countries are just not going to exist anymore. And there is some sort of perhaps a brokered truce or just a stopping of the hostilities of the Third World War. Well, it looks like Israel's rolling into Lebanon now. As you can see, Lebanon's a very small country over here. Uh, Christoph also saw that they were going to go into Syria and Iraq up to the river right here. Which this is exactly how he described it. And this is exactly the map of greater Israel. As you see, Jordan just becomes a part of it, as does the northern part of Saudi Arabia, the Sinai Peninsula, and, you know, a portion of Egypt uh, up to the Nile. So I think we are witnessing that phase. And will this be the event that triggers WW3 full bore? That we'll have to see. You know, it's really big and it's really dark and it's being implemented, you know, baby steps at a time. And all we can really do is watch and see how it unfolds. But I don't know. I see something here that's just a, a really psychological mess for a lot of people and it has them on edge. And it's very, very deliberate. Of course, we know it's deliberate, but I do see it expanding and I see it expanding out. Um, it's to just keep people on edge. It, it's to keep them in fear and for such a place that that touts you know religion it, it's very very low vibrational i mean i think we can all see that so it's definitely not something that um i would want anything to do with i mean i i kind of look at folks and if they're traveling down a certain path i see how they're doing and i say well that's something i don't want and, and this is what I see. So I, I would never want to step into a religion or an understanding that these people are doing. You know, it's just contrast to everything I think, feel, see, and understand. At the same time, as we're moving up in vibration and the light is overtaking, the light makes the shadow darker and darker. And it, it can be really, really ugly, really, really ugly before it's all over. And we might be at that point now. Yes, absolutely. Again, this goes back to basically the the thought that this land, and, and this is the description of the land, was given uh, to this one select group by their particular patron uh, Anunnakian uh, entity or construct <laughs> when you get down to it. Um, again, Yahweh, and so you know they—they—that's they, how they lay claim. They said this was promised to us um, by our Elohim or their Anunnakian uh, entity. And you know, again, for the, this is why we harp on uh, the religious point of it because this is the number one brainwashing uh, tool that has been used on the planet, and this is why most here in the U.S. automatically go along with whatever Israel does, or at least a large portion of, of those here in the U.S. will automatically go along with whatever Israel does because they're, they're viewing it from the biblical point of view. But all you got to do is go a little bit deeper and, you know, it's no longer Lord and God. It's, it's individual names of entities like Enlil, Enki, Enki Marduk, Ningashida, on and on. You know, Inanna, you know, this is the reality. There's many, many of these um, different beings that are portrayed as one being. And the scholars know that that's revisionist history. It's even in, in articles and books written on the Torah and the Talmud. They understand this and they, in many cases, openly acknowledge it. Now, we had this happen uh, July 27th. Uh, this year, where 75,000 tons of lithium-ion batteries went in a big blaze up in you know, flames. And it happened again yesterday, and I must have missed, we must have missed one of them, because this is the third such incident in recent months. Third. And it shut down 95. And 95 is it, because Nellis Air Force Base is immense. And, you know, if, if this is shut down permanently, 
oh, you know, this is a huge major route, and, and there's just no getting around this that's not, I don't know, what, four, six hours, m probably longer than that, you know, to get around. It's a main vein. It, it's very, very, it's a very important road, and a lot of people have been stomping their feet and shaking their fists for a long time to make an alternative because this could leave a lot of people stranded and it's also very very dangerous because with this one the part of the road that it happened on there's just um one-way traffic you know and and it's just extremely dangerous and uh, you know i'm looking at it as wow these things are happening right next to nellis that means there's some type of weapon right next to nellis that's the only thing i can come up with because it's just too much of a a coincidence so how is this happening why is it happening? I wonder what's going on with the poor truck drivers. I'm not sure about fatalities, but I would imagine the, the one that just happened was a head-on between two semis. And how is that happening? Are they doing a, I'm seeing like a vibration weapon, you know, getting zapped with these poor truck drivers. They have no idea. They have no clue. And then it's just over. I mean, it's so wrong and it keeps happening and it keeps happening in these really strange places with lithium batteries. Yeah, you know, there there was a president of a country that went down in a plane crash uh, that happened to be one of the countries that is the biggest producer of lithium-ion batteries. But then there was a plane crash that happened also that had a lot of researchers in the medical field that were going to talk about the dangers of something that they never got to talk about. Uh, they were heading for a conference, you know, and yeah, here you go. I mean, this is what we have going on. 23 of me's entire board resigns, leaving founder Anne Wojcicki, sister of deceased YouTube CEO Susan Wojcicki, as the sole surviving board member. You know, again, remember, you know, the, the marriage into Sergey Brin, uh, again, Google ties. It's all completely interconnected. But it seems that there's an awful lot of them that are leaving the planet or maybe just simply uh, disappearing for more anonymous locations <laughs> because it's hitting the fan big time, guys. Big time. Um, you know, this is going to be a separate video over there. Just wanted to show you that, you know, it might get really cold this winter. So make sure you have an alternative form of heat. Other than relying on the grid, under the, other than relying on, you know, the utility companies and all, um, have backup to your backup. I do think that we are just starting to dip our toes into the thick of it. Look forward to your comments as always. We also want to thank everybody for your support over on Patreon. Um, there's and and Kofi as well. Uh, make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you do appreciate what we're trying to do and waking up the planet before we uh, witness uh, another major thing upon the land as well as another global conflagration. Well, the outcome is going to be better if more of us understand really what's going on. So we do appreciate every bit of support we can get you guys. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.